Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn weekly money and career reading from May 16th to the 22nd, 2022. Let's get started, Capricorn. Welcome to this early morning reading. Let's see what energies we have in this coming week, Capricorn. What are you pushing forward? What are you building? Nice. The Fool. The Fool. New journey. New beliefs. Believing in yourself, Capricorn. Believe in yourself. This is a new direction. You're taking on a new job, new project, believing in yourself, but also trusting yourself, trusting the universe, pushing you forward in the right direction. All right, we have cards, cards coming out. Trust yourself. And even if you feel um, those that push and pull from people or people you don't feel you trust them or don't have your back, that's okay. That's okay. Not everybody has your back. Not everybody you're going to um, cross paths with is going to agree with your perspective. That's okay because you're growing into something different. You are moving on to something different. It is a calmer period. It is a period of growth not searching, but understanding what your um, new energy is all about. Pushing forward, growing into new experiences, growing into that new power that you have. The star is about believing in yourself. And after a period of challenges, after obstacles, significant obstacles along the way, I know Capricorn has had such a journey, such a difficult journey, a little bit like Scorpio, and I compare a lot because this has been months, even years of finding that path, understanding what it's all about, understanding these difficult times, right? But now you're realizing what lies beneath. You realize who you are. So trust yourself. Don't, you know, pass by these people or energies that you don't connect with. It's okay. No matter what the challenge is, you know you're connected. You know you have these energies and you know you're connected to pure loving energies, right? Let go of these difficult. I know it's easy to to say let go, but um, it's it, it's let go of that old sense of betrayal, of of um, not trust, untrustworthy people. Let go of that and enter. Try to enter. You know this peaceful phase. You know, feel filled with calmer energy. I feel like this is mentally calmer, um, more depth, more understanding about yourself and others. It's new. It's completely new. You are opening and developing and ready to receive, ready to manifest this new, this new journey. And I, I, I think it's starting. I think it's really starting. You are making, um, a, this is a big decision, justice. You know, Capricorn, that this is for you. You know that it's the right time. I think it's, uh, you know, it's something that you have been wanting to do for a while. And justice is there to say that it is, you're in control. You're in control of the situation. You're balanced. You like the truth. You like um, honesty. I mean, who doesn't like honesty? Well, some people don't. Um, <laughs> right? Right. But you like, you need the truth to be able to, um, push forward. You need honesty to be able to push forward. You're very logical. You're very pragmatic and you like the honest truth. You don't like the BS going on, but there's always a little BS Capricorn. So just push forward because this is going, this new journey here or this new energy within this week 
is the moment to recognize your truth, your opportunity, your control, and push forward on your own energies. And I also think that this justice here is a decision. <coughs> Sorry, early morning reading. It's a decision to be yourself, to accept yourself, and a big decision um, long-term decision to understand the importance of the choices you make, to understand the importance of your potential, of your long-term potential, and the impact you have on others, and the impact of your decisions on you and on others. And it's, it's your choosing um, to connect with your inner inner intuition and and align yourself with your beliefs and you are um digging deeper this week in understanding that it's all the power comes from you your power, your changes, your beliefs. No matter what the situation is behind you, you're defending yourself. You're still on the fence, not on the fence. You're still defensive, protecting your territory, protecting your space, keeping your space, not wanting to get involved. That's good. That's good. Don't get involved with the minutia. Do not get involved with the BS Capricorn. You're choosing to push forward. You're choosing, choosing honesty, integrity, whatever your situation is. And I don't know why I'm talking about all this. It is a period of growth. It's new. You're embarking on new. So you're opening up to new energies. You're opening up to new people. Let go of those past BSers. Let go of the situation because it's not serving you and it's not bringing you any positive energy. What we have to deal with, we have to deal with. But here you are entering a whole new um, mental uh, energy, new ideas, new, um, new ways new people probably let's pull more cards new directions a page of swords is new ideas innovative new ideas so maybe you're working on an idea maybe you're working on a new project um whatever it is it's taking time okay now i understand it's taking time it's probably frustrating you have double double taking time here you have the hangman and the temperance both saying take a step back Patience, patience. I know no one wants to hear patience, patience, but you are making that decision to move forward and you are pushing forward and it is a great idea and you are growing. This week is growing, opening up to the world, opening up to new opportunities, opening up to new people. Let go, let go of these people or situations that you were uncomfortable with. And take a step back, take a step back and let, let, let the energy flow, L accept the energy flow, the natural energy flow with the temperance and assess if you have to reassess if you have to take your time, take your time and allow this power or these new powers to come in. And I understand the frustration. I understand if it's not going fast enough. And I understand, yes, it's a big change. It's a big change. And it's long coming. And you felt it was going to come earlier. You felt this. But it's right here. It's right here. It's just that it's not at a snap of a finger. And it's not. Um, it is taking this tower moment. Um, and it's taking its time to come in for you to understand. And the tower moment is that moment of understanding, that moment of reality that you want, that moment of truth, of honesty, of integrity that you want. It is clear in your mind, long-weighted, 
patiently, patiently waiting for this moment to arrive, whatever the situation was. It can be something that you, um, uh, a situation that you had uh, before where you're wait, waiting for answers, waiting for answers for a job or waiting for answers for a situation that happened that you didn't like and that you didn't agree with and you wanted to do it differently or people you didn't, something like that. And, but justice is there. Justice is being made. So matter, no matter what the situation is, you are in control. You know, you're going to, you're on the right path. New, the fool, you're on to a different adventure. You're on to a different job, different journey. Let go of the situation. The problem is being solved and you will get your answers, but you're starting new. So, and look at these beautiful, beautiful cards. Six of swords, obviously, now moving on to calmer waters. Whatever the situation was, Capricorn, moving on. Let go, let go. Try not to, this is a whole new ball game. Scor uh, I don't know why I say Scorpio. I apologize, but I do compare both of your energies because it's so tricky, right? So I apologize for that. I often get comments. Why are you saying this sign, that sign? It's Capricorn. It's just that in my mind, energies sometimes are similar, okay? So, um, Six of um, Swords moving on to those calmer waters, transitioning into the new energy, into the new journey. It is a new journey. You are taking a leap of faith. You are believing in yourself, believing in the new energies, trusting yourself, trusting the universe, bringing in these new energies. You are transitioning, Capricorn, and I know it's been the longest transition ever. Again, comparing with Scorpio, months and months, years and years. But here we are, accepting to start new, realizing, having the clarity of this new path, having the clarity of this new journey, wanting to push forward, enjoying, enjoying this new opportunity. You have the strength card. You have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana and another one to come. You have the strength card. You got this. You got this, Capricorn. No matter what the obstacles are, you got this. You're in the right direction, pushing forward on the right path with the right people, the right connections coming in. You are pulling it all together. It is successful. It is dynamic. It is not without obstacles, but there are always obstacles. There, there, nothing exists without obstacles. Nothing is smooth sailing. And if it's smooth sailing, it's, it's smooth sailing for a hot second, right? Until something pops up that we have to solve. So that is all normal. Obstacles are normal. People we don't connect it with are normal. People annoying or or BSers are normal. All is that is normal, you know, along the way. But you are pulling it together. Wow, what a change. What a beautiful, beautiful transition here. Clarity, clarity, clarity. Accept the new. Let the new in. Let go of the nonsense because you have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful wish coming true. So whenever you are working on, whatever you are thinking, that thing you want to develop, that job you want, that promotion you want, that business you want to start, that business you want to start. I feel like you've been wanting to start something for such a long time and it has been difficult, but it's been difficult for everyone, right? It is not easy. This is a wish coming true. Nine of Cups. This is the moment where you're, you're, seize the moment, seize the moment, Capricorn. I think that's going to be the title. Seize the moment. You're shifting in a completely new energy and it's time to bring it all together. 
you have success here. I love the world. The world is my favorite card, bringing it all together, knowing that you're growing. You, you're growing in this new path. You have this sense of achievement, of fulfillment, of completion to bring it all together, right? It's, it's, it's coming full circle. It's coming full circle. It's coming together, um, Capricorn. You know, honor your achievement. Honor your powers. Honor your, your talents, Capricorn. Don't be so harsh on yourself, right? You, this is something you have these goals. You've had this goal for a long time. It's coming together. And, you know, you, you this is making you stronger yes i that's a little cliche but it's mu you're much more wise and experienced <clears throat> so um accept to love yourself accept to love these energies for who you are for who you are accept your power and Try to let go of those harmful illusions about yourself, about situations, about other people, and about, you know, what you can and cannot accomplish. Acknowledge your place within this world. Acknowledge your place within these energies and just know that you are making a positive impact on your in your community in this situation in your job in your path you are positive energies nine of cups wishes coming true career aspirations coming true promotion coming true, business openings coming true, whatever it is. Now, again, is it easy? No, no, but you're pushing in the right direction and completing whatever it is you had to complete to make it happen. Beautiful reading. Let's see if there are a few more cards that want to come out. Capricorn, trust yourself, trust yourself. Yes, opening up, opening up to new horizons. This card doesn't want to come out. Look at this, Wheel of Fortune, moving up, moving forward, moving forward. Good karma coming in. The wheel is moving. You are pushing forward. It is the moment where you accept the ebbs and flows of life, where you accept that the energies change constantly. Stop and go and stop and go. The right connections, the wrong connections. Moving forward, accepting your power within this energy, right? And so Wheel of Fortune is the moment where it just gets better and better because you're in the right energy, because you're on the right track. Synchronicity is coming through, meeting the right person at the right time, connecting to the right opportunity, to push forward, doors opening up, seeing positive, positive energies coming in because you are trusting yourself more. You are trusting your intuitions more and uh, pushing out a positive energy, which is bringing in um, positive opportunities. The Wheel of Fortune is accepting the flow, accepting the energies to power through and with that, gives you that clarity and understanding of what you're made of and that it all comes from you. Opening up to the world, three of wands. Opening up, planning, opportunities outside of your current job, more responsibilities, opening up to others, opening up to other opportunities. You might be doing, and here we are back with the fool which is a complete new adventure, a complete new way of seeing life, a complete new way of understanding others and both others and yourself. And this is unblocking the situation, pushing you forward in a different direction. And so 
If it does sometimes feel uncomfortable, that's normal because you're, you're moving on to something completely different and you are planning the future, planning, <clears throat> sorry, let me grab a little water. It is a, a complete new understanding, Capricorn. <clears throat> Sorry. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It, you're expanding into a positive direction. So be open to the help of others. Be open to other factors outside of your control. Influencing the situation. Influencing your path. Right? And it, it, yes, Capricorn, if you're someone that likes control, that likes to control everything, aware of every second of the way, well, you, you might be challenged a little bit, right? Accept what's happening. Accept and adapt to this new flow. Accept and adapt and go with the flow because these opportunities are opening up and they're new and they're different. And so it, things that are becoming available probably might not be what you usually connect with. Maybe you're starting a new career, a complete new opportunity. And so it's really the chance to turn it all into a complete different direction and let go of those harmful ideas, right? And doubts about yourself. Beautiful reading. Let me see if there's one last message for the road capricorn you got this and it's and it's a wish come true so i think it's completely new something you might not be um uh you might not have done before but it ha it might have been in the back of your mind yes and again the world there you go success success but success and understanding and acknowledgement of your place within the world, acknowledgement of your power and acknowledgement of those harmful illusions, right? To let go, let go. Let go of that, of what you can and can't, those doubts of what you can and cannot do, what you, what is your place or not your place. No, you are your power. Push through, push through. Absolutely beautiful reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I do. did. <laughs> Please uh, comment down below. Let me know what your journey is all about. Let me know where you're stand where you stand in your path and what you're developing, what direction you're going into. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, thank you so much for connecting. <coughs> oh, sorry, early morning. <coughs> Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet, especially if you really enjoy these readings, weekly readings, and come around. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. That is how I push my energies forward, right? And and push my energies to uh, put out these readings. So please subscribe and hit the bell. And um, if you've just uh, connected with this channel, I've never watch this channel before all monthlies are up for all signs with the opportunity to get a free reading if you're interested in that. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.